I never thought this would happen. Like, I literally did not see this coming at all. To this book right here, this is my debut novel that I published two years ago, which is insane. 100 Days of Sunlight. Most of you have read it. I hope you have. You watching this right now, if you haven't read it, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing on my channel? <laughs> okay, you can't get this savage this soon, Abby, come on. This came out on August 7th, 2019, and it was one of the most exciting days of my life. And since that day, you guys have given this book so much love and support, and it has just brightened my life times one million. And I've had so many of you amazing readers ask me, is there going to be a sequel to this book? Is this it? Is this literally it? The ending is so abrupt. How could you just end it like that? I've had so many readers say that. I did not think so for a long time. I thought this book is just, it is what it is. It's a standalone. There is nothing else to say. No sequel, no nothing. But then something happened last Christmas. Here's the thing. I have so many books that are in the works. Some are being edited, some are being revised, some are like really close to being ready to publish. There's a lot in the queue, okay? So I thought I would be releasing something totally different because I had this other book that I was going to work on and I was going to revise and edit it and make it perfect and publish it this year. But then last Christmas, I had this idea for a Christmas story about Tessa and Weston. And now I'm publishing it in 30 freaking days. Legit. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. I am just, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited for this book. <laughs> so I don't even know if I would call it a sequel, but it is a follow-up and it takes place three months after the events of 100 Days of Sunlight. And do you want to see the cover and hear the description? Because I'm just like ready to scream. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> okay, so I designed the book cover myself and unfortunately I don't have an actual physical book to hold up because the paperbacks are still being printed. They're being printed as we speak. I cannot wait to see them and hold them and show you them. I'm going to make a vlog all about that. So stay tuned for that. But I can show you the cover and the title and the blurb right now. It is called Tessa and Weston, the best Christmas ever. And here's the cover. So it's a lot like the cover of 100 Days of Sunlight, same sort of concept with like the hidden picture with different elements from the book. Pause if you want to look at it closer. All right, who wants to know what it's about? <gasps> Let me read the blurb. Don't look at me. Don't look at me while I read the blurb. <laughs> it's Tessa and Weston's first Christmas together, and Tessa is determined to make it the best holiday ever. But when her estranged mother shows up with a suitcase and plans to stay for two weeks, Tessa's hopes are shattered. Bitter from the past and still holding a grudge, Tessa is in no mood to give her mother a second chance. The holiday season may be a time of reconciliation with family, but Tessa believes her mother will never change. Why get close when she's just going to leave again? Tessa realizes there is only one way to save this Christmas. Avoid her mother as much as possible. With the best intentions in mind, Tessa chooses to not tell her mother about Weston's disability. But when they meet face to face, Tessa is mortified and ashamed by her mother's insensitive remarks. Weston begins to think that he is the real cause of Tessa's shame. His old demons resurrect to haunt him with doubts. What if, one day, Tessa stops loving him because of his disability? Determined to prove his love for her, Weston makes it his mission to be the best boyfriend ever and works to reunite Tessa and her mother. Meanwhile, Tessa plots elaborate ways to avoid mother-daughter time at all costs. One scheme leads to another until Tessa finds herself tangled in a web of deceit and, worst of all, lying to Weston. When the secrets between them force Tessa and Weston to face their greatest fears, they must confront the inescapable question. Is true love worth the risk of heartbreak? Is it ever too late to forgive and start over? It is the coziest thing I have ever written. It is like sitting by the fire wrapped in a blanket drinking hot cocoa 
snuggling a puppy, okay? That's literally how cozy it is. <laughs> and there's an actual puppy in it. There's a puppy in it. I had so much fun returning to this world and these characters and I missed them so much. So it was really fun to go back to writing Tessa and Weston. I loved it and I hope that you will love it too. The book is out November. First. That is so soon. That is so soon. It is scary. But you can pre order the ebook right now. Okay, link in description, or you can wait for the paperback and the hardcover to be available. I'm hoping that those will be available mid October. And I totally understand if you want to wait for the paperback and the hardcover because they're going to be very pretty and just perfect to cuddle up on the couch with a blanket and Kogo and read. So it's gonna be really pretty on your bookshelf, okay? I think you're gonna love it. And it's also going to make a perfect Christmas gift. Pro tip, if you know anyone who loved 100 Days of Sunlight, this is like the perfect Christmas gift for them, okay? I'm whispering in case they're in the room while you're watching this video. You should get, you should get it for them for Christmas. But for now, I want everyone, everyone watching this to go to Goodreads, okay? And add it as want to read on Goodreads. The link is in the description. Yes, even you, even you who don't have a Goodreads account, go make one specifically, <laughs> specifically to add my book. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but that would be like so, so cute if you did. That would. I would probably cry. Just click the link below to go to the Goodreads page for this book and mark it as want to read. And if you feel like it, add a little note to your status saying why you are personally excited to read this book. I think I already know the answer. Weston. <laughs> Otherwise, you can go and pre-order the ebook right now, which I, I do recommend, obviously, because then on release date, you can start reading it immediately. You don't have to wait for shipping. Right? We know you're staying up for Halloween anyway. What better way to end your Halloween than at midnight on Halloween? <laughs> when, when it ticks over into November 1st, you can start reading the book immediately before anyone else does. That is a benefit to pre-ordering the ebook right now. Okay, one more thing, one more thing. There is going to be an audiobook version read by yours truly. That's going to come out a little bit later. December 1st is the release date for the audiobook because I still have a ton of editing and mastering and mixing to do on that audiobook. You think I'm joking when I say that I'm literally the only person doing all of this? <laughs> nope. I'm literally the only person doing all this. November 1st for the book, mark your calendars, and December 1st for the audiobook, which is gonna be really special. I'm, I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm gonna do a behind the scenes vlog later on this month, showing you a sneak peek look at the publishing process, and we're gonna open the first box of books together. It's gonna be so much fun. So stay tuned for that. So add it on Goodreads or pre-order the ebook or both and stay tuned for paperbacks and hardcovers. They're coming soon. They're gonna be beautiful. I can't wait. November 1st. I have a ton of work to do. <laughs>